What's up everybody, welcome back for the first time to, as you can see it right in front of me, Lumion Legacy. Yes, that is right, we are playing Lumion Legacy and I am so excited to be playing this because I started playing Brick Bronze, but then the game got shut down because of copyright, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But it has finally come out, it came out a couple days ago, but I decided I wanted to start playing. But the reason why we're on the main home screen is because up here we have a wheel decide. As you can see, we have all these starter Lumians. Let's just apply the wheel changes. Come on, let's just apply. Yes, we have all the starter Lumians. So I'm just going to, you know, use the wheel to pick my Lumians. So let's go. So first one who we aren't picking is Weevolt. So Weevolt is out. Next person who is out is Vambat. Next one, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Feevine. Okay. Who's the next one? Dripple. Okay, that's okay, because I'm okay with Dripple being out. So we have Embit, Snow Cub, and Eaglet. Let's see who will win. Who will win the battle? Embit is out, so it's either Eaglet or Snow Club. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. We're choosing Snow Cub at first. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Snow Cub it is. Let's let's get into this and let's choose Snow Cub. LTS Llama Train Studios presents an association with blah 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 blah. blah. Lumion L -l 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 Legacy. Frick, yes, Veils of Shadow. Okay, so I did do one before, but we are going to start a new game. Yes, we know it's going to completely whatever. I didn't get that. I didn't go far. I literally just skipped all the text to see which Lumians there were so I could put on the calendar. Please confirm once more. You are certain you want to erase your progress. Oh, wait. I'll just, I'll just skip through this because this is, this is whatever. This is, okay, let's turn that off. Let's see here. Ooh. The Mitis, my town of Mitis. There's the Lumian Laboratory of Auroria. So we are in Auroria. There's a bridge. This kind of looks like a uh, brick, uh, brick bronze, somewhat. Everyone's having a good, good time. Good time. Now this first episode is probably going to be mostly reading and watching. Oh no. It's raining. Get inside. Run. Run, boys. But yeah, this is mostly going to be like reading and stuff because, you know, it's just what the first episodes for everything is. But don't worry. We'll get through this. We'll get through this together. Fascinating. Very fascinating. A little obelisk. This just in. A storm has appeared out of nowhere in southeast Roria. Meteorologists are stumped by this anomaly in the weather that appeared so suddenly. As we continue to investigate, we will keep you informed. As always, tune into Roria News on 6 to stay up to date on everything happening. Thank you, news lady. Okay, so this time we actually, we woke up watching TV. We didn't wake up in our bed like in Brick Bronze. Ooh. Hey, honey, could you please come downstairs? Yeah, I can come upstairs. Uh, is that my mom? Is that that's my mom? Oh, there you are. Your father called a moment ago. He was at the dig site when the storm came. He said something very interesting has happened to the stone tablet. Has been he has been studying. He insists on showing you. Oh, I see you tried on your new Lumi watch. To set it up, you have to press this button. Duh. Everyone knows you have to press a button to open things up. <sighs> How come my mom doesn't have a bunny head? Am I adopted? I think I'm adopted. Oh, please enter my name. Mr. Dot Dark Dovkin Docking Son. There we go. Mr. Dawkinson? Yeah, why are you questioning me? Don't question me. Of course. Of course it's Mr. Dawkinson. What else would it be? ID whoa. Lumi coin zero. Oh, I have no money. No money, no badges. I'll teach you more about your new Lumi watch later. For now, I need to get going. I need to go check on the Lumians that we've been caring for at the lab. 
They aren't trained yet, and they startle easily. Don't forget, your father wanted to go see him at the dig site. Be careful in the weather out there. Um, no. I love weather that is bad, and I love playing in it. Boom. Look at that. It's miserable. Miserable day with no one. I'm pretty sure all these doors will be locked. Oh, no, they aren't. We can go in the doors? Oh, we can go talk to people. Yes, my kids sure do love watching those battle shows. I worry that they spend too much time watching them, though. No, you're crazy. These battle theater shows are amazing. Naya is so cool, and her Gecklo is really tough. I hope I'll be able to go and watch her battle one day. You might. I don't know. I can't say. That's up to your mom. Ooh, we can even go upstairs? Oh my goodness! Is there anyone up here? Oh, there is someone up here. Okay. Why do they have one bed? Come on, Gecklo, you can win. Gecklo is my favorite Lumion ever. One day I want to have a whole team of Gecklo. Oh, cool. They have one bed, and they have three three people. Where is everybody else? Huh? Where's everybody else? There's only... there's no, Where's the other two beds? Okay, I'm not going to go into every house, because there's like four houses. I do want to look at what's over here. What the heck are you? Gastroc is loving this rain. That's a ga- Oh my goodness. Ho! Oh, that's a big boy. That's not a Gastroc. That's a big boy. Big boy Gastroc. Okay, so now we need to go to the Midas dig site. Which is where this is. You also can't jump in this game. That's something you cannot do. And it's kind of freaking me out. Oh! There you are, Mr. Dockerson. I see you got my message from your mother. You'll never believe what just happened. First, we were outside when the storm clouds appeared out of nowhere. Rain came pouring down suddenly, so we ran in here to seek shelter. That's when the text on the tablet unexpectedly began to glow. The characters actually came off and completely rearranged themselves. I know it sounds crazy, but you will find that this text does not match what we previously recorded. What's happening now? Oh! Whoa, it's all vanishing. And breaking. You broke it. What'd you do? Come on, Dad. Dad, come on. I can't believe it. I know. Dad broke the machine. The tablet. It's actually gone. All that research just got up and flew away. This isn't good. We weren't able to finish transcribing the new text. Oh, so dramatic. The pieces of the stone tablet seem to have all gone off in different directions. I think someone or something didn't want us reading that message. We're going to have to search for all of the pieces so that we can continue to study the stone. That's odd. The rain seems to have stopped. Mr. Dogson, I'm going to the Lumian Laboratory to update your mother on all of this. You should meet us there when you get a chance. See you later. Yeah, sure. Leave me. Okay, fine. Can't just run with you guys. Okay, this looks a lot better. Now that there's no there's no rain. Rain or shine. There's, it's more shine than rain. Oh, people, what's up, people? I don't like these. I don't like the character. Um, the new whatever character, I forget what they're called. I really want to go play around on the big piles of dirt in the digging site behind your house. My mom says I can't, though, because it's unsafe. Well, no. Poop is unsafe. I'm waiting for the mail. I read a lot of Lumi and Care Supplies online for my Weevolt. Ooh, he got a Weevolt. I think that Eaglet is the best Lumion. Have you ever been lost in the dark before? That would never happen with a trusty Eaglet by your side. Ooh. I believe we vault to be superior because of its ability to generate electricity. I can rest my phone next to mine and we'll charge. That's so handy. Yes, it is. Okay. What's up, Baldy? When I was a young trainer, I had a full head of hair. At least before my ambits sing singed off it all off. Every day I pat my head to check if it grew back. It never does. Nope. Doesn't seem to. Okay, what do you say now? Gastrock really enjoyed the rain while it lasted. Oh, okay. Fine. Can we fall down? Oh, we can't fall down there. I wonder how many kinds of Lumians live in the water. They live in streams, lakes, and oceans. Trainers are always discovering new aquatic Lumians. Um, that looks like not water to me. That might be weird, but it looks like no water. What's up? Are you my friend? One of these days, I'm going to get my own Lumion from the lab. I just don't know if I'm ready yet. A friend of mine told me that I shouldn't be worried, though. She said that Lumions are good, dependable creatures that make good companions. Yes, they do. And I am going to get my Lumion, the Snow Cub. Snow Cube. Is it Snow Cube or Snow Cub? I do not know. What's up, Pa? What's up, Ma? 
Hey, Mr. Doxon. Glad to see that you made it back safely, sweetie. Hey, champ, good timing. I was just catching your mother up on what happened at the dig site. So far, so for months, you've been studying that mysterious stone you found, and it starts acting weird around the same time that mysterious storm appears over town. That can't be a coincidence. I believe you are right. Soon after the text changed on the stone, it was broken and the pieces were scattered in the wind. I didn't even get enough time to transcribe the new message on the tablet before the pieces disappeared. You told me that you had deciphered the original text weeks ago. What did the original message say again? It's roughly translated to the creature's secret lies dormant within until the day of awakening it comes again. Well, today's the day of awakening, duh. If I could only get the pieces of the tablet back, I could decipher its new message. Hopefully whatever it said would give us some clue. Did you happen to see where they went? No, they flew out in every direction. There's no telling where they could have gone. Didn't you tell me that the tablet em emanated a subtle but unique energy signature? Yes, it, it interfered with our equipment while we were digging nearby. That is what led us to it in the first place. What if you fine-tuned the technology to detect the missing pieces of the tablet? Hmm, yes. Yes, that just might work. If I had a, a, access to a satellite array, I could emit a signal strong and wide enough to detect the pieces. But who do I know that has a fa facility equipped with satellite array? You want to use my equipment? Is that okay with you, dear? Of course, I'm interested to see if this is tied to Illumine. I've yet to document. Excellent. Thank you. I do wonder, though, how will you be able how will you be able to operate your machine here while searching for the missing pieces at the same time that's a good question don't look at me my field research days are coming to a close i'm getting too old to go on adventures looking for spooky rocks maybe if i was still in my prime haha <laughs> no worries derek i actually had someone else in mind sweetheart how do you feel about letting mr arkson go in my place to search for the stones i think that would be perfect i've been thinking of trusting mr arkson with Illumian farm lab for quite some time now. I would love nothing more than to see our child on an adventure. Lumians by their side, experiencing what I did when I was young. Ah yes, the life of a Lumian trainer. What do you think, Mr. Dogton? Will you help me out? No. Your mother is offering to give you your very first Lumian to help you. I don't want it. Along the way, I don't want it. No. I want to go home. That's the biggest grin I think I've ever seen. I'm not grinning. I'd say Mr. Dogton has been wanting something like this for a while. My parents don't listen to me. I don't want a Lumian. I'm certainly not surprised one bit, considering how much Mr. Arkson watches battle theater shows. I don't watch battle theater shows, Mom. Oh, that's perfect, champ. Maybe one day you'll be on TV and challenge. I don't want to. Goodness. Well, then it's settled. I need to get set up in here. No. Stop. Sweetheart, why don't you we give Mr. Arkson Lumion now and then practice with a quick battle? That's a great idea. Mr. Arkson, follow me over here and let's find you a Lumion you'd like. I already know, Mom. None of them. This is so exciting. Picking your first Lumion is so special. Lumions are lifelong companions that you will never forget. Pick the one that you like the most, and when you've decided, I'll teach you how to battle. Okay, well, we already know who we're taking. Attention, everybody. You are all remember, Mr. Einstein. Don't you gather around. Don't be shy. I want the snow cup with no eyes. Let's see here. One of you is missing. Favine. Favine. Come here, Favine. Okay, Mr. Arkson, pick any Lumi you like. Okay, so let's go down the list. During the day, Fevin can be found lo lounging in the sun, storing energy at night. However, it unleashes its full potential and chases its prey through fields with explosive energy. This mischievous dark type Lumion is notorious for dive bombing cave explorers and stealing their hats. This electric type Lumion is often found playing in thunderstorms where it uses its tail as a lightning rod to gather energy from lightning strikes. It can send... Uh, powerful jolts of electricity through its whiskers to stun prey. The Sumi appreciates the companionship of a trainer when given the chance, but it's perfectly content to spend all day doing nothing more than blowing bubbles from its mouth. Be cautious when approaching an eagle its nest. These brave little Lumians are known to use binding lights and razor claws to defend their nest at all cost. This soft fur is also always warm to the touch. The Sumi is especially popular in the colder regions of Roria, where it helps its trainer stay warm in the harsh climate. When packs of snow cubs travel down mountainsides, they often cause panic as they are mistaken for an avalanche. Okay, so after going through all all of them, we are choosing the snow cub. You choose snow cub. Yes. Great choice. Would you like to nickname your snow club? No. We're good. I like keeping the regular names. Now, before we battle, I want to explain a few things. Lumions are companions to their trainers. In a battle, you and your Lumion work together and strategize together to defeat your opponent. 
You'll come across many other Wild Lumians trainers with trained Lumians who will want to battle you. The first person to run out of Lumians that are able and willing to fight loses the match. In time you will learn strategies that will help you overcome all your opponents. Now without further delay, let's see what you can do. Mom would like to battle. Mom sent out Kabanga. Go Snoka. Alright, before we begin, I want to explain a few things about battling. You'll notice on your Lumi watch that your Lumian's health is displayed in green and its energy in purple. When your Lumian's health reaches zero, it will be unable to battle and you will need to use another Lumian if you have any. You'll notice you have four options, fight, items, Lumian's, and run. Go ahead and select your fight option. Boom. Now, if you look at your Lumian's moves, you'll notice a number next to EC. This is the move's energy cost. Each time you use a move, your Lumian's energy will be reduced by the energy cost of the move. Once you run low on energy, you will need to wait or rest. Waiting will replenish a small amount of energy. Resting will replenish much more of your Lumian's energy, but also lower its defense somewhat for that turn. If you try to use your move without having enough energy, your Lumian will flail in exhaustion and lose some of its health. Now, without further ado, let's begin the fight. Okay, so first of all, I want to use Flurry, because that seems like the coolest one. Use Brace, or Snorkel will use Flurry. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um. Okay, I did a test run with Eaglet, and that did not happen. Holy crap. Wow. I did it! It's super effective. The opposing Kabunga fainted. Snow Cub gained 57 experience. Level 6! Screw to level 6! Good job, honey. This is I received 240 bucks for winning. Whoa. That was an excellent battle. I think you and your Lumion will do just fine as you go on your adventure together. I've got my gear all set up now. Come have a look. This machine will take the signal it receives from the stone chunks and display on screen a general location of where they are. And would you look at that, it's already detecting signal from Gale Forest. Gale Forest? That isn't far from here, it's just past Ches Chesma Town. Chesma Town. Well then, Ke Chesma Town is one old town over from us. It's just the other side of Route 1. You should have no trouble getting there. Mr. Huntington, I need you to travel to Gale Forest and see if you can find the first missing tablet piece. Then report back. Your mother and I will communicate with you over your Lumi Watch. Your Lumi Watch is a powerful piece of technology that is capable of doing many things. If you find anything, give us a call and we'll decide what to do from there. That sounds excellent. Oh, and take this. Mom gave you a closet key. The closet key was stored in the items app. This is a key to the door at the back of the lab. Behind the door, you find a closet containing a few items you I think you'll find very useful for the road. I'd like to add that if you are interested in bringing any more of the lab's Lumians with you on your journey, your adventures, you can come talk to me. All right now, Mr. Arnison, I think you're all set to go. Your father and I are here for you when you need us. Good luck, Mr. Arnison, let us know if you need anything. Boom. Finally, we are ready to go out on our own, but first we are going in the closet because we have stuff to kick. I found five small meds. The small meds were stored in the item map, and... Ooh, Mrs. Arnison found five capture discs. Capture discs were stored in the items app. Boom. Okay. We are ready to finally set out on our journey. We are we are all kitted out. We have our snow cub. Boom. We are good. Okay, so now we need to go to root root to one. And it's nighttime. That's kind of funny. Okay. Well, I think the time has expired for this video. And we need to we need to Whoa! She's a different you can have different birds than normal what that's sack okay but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the first like episode it wasn't really like a full episode it was more just like reading a lot of text but i hope you guys enjoyed we're starting route one next episode and if you guys want to see more subscribe for more if you like this video leave a like and blah I'll do all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next video bye been, oh my god oh my god if i die i'm a legend when they lay me down to rest i know i was always weapon oh my god my whole life my words been my greatest weapon I